good morning all greetings of the day today i gurpreet kaur welcomes you all to shri rama bharti public school online classes i repeat today i gurpreet kaur welcomes you all to shri rama bharti public school computer classes i hope you all are staying safe at your home and trying to maintain the social distance watch the classes later on on our youtube channel and now the next announcement is the next announcement is regarding the dropbox from now our class work and homework is available on dropbox from now our class work and homework is available on dropbox now you have to go to the dropbox link and download class work and homework on daily basis the third announcement is regarding your ebooks if you want to read something then you can go to the link provided to you for the ebooks you can download the ebooks and read them from there now i gurpreet kaur welcome you all to your computer classes i gurpreet kaur welcome you all to your computer classes now everybody knows that in today's life computer plays a very very important role everybody knows in today's life computer plays a very very important role from now first we will know what is computer and what are the different parts of computer we are going to start with what is computer and what are the different parts of computer let's start now let's start with our topic that is computer and parts of computer that is i again repeat topic is computer and parts of computer computer and parts of now the question arises what is computer so computer is a smart electronic machine computer is a smart electronic machine now what is smart why we call computer a smart machine so the answer is we call a computer a smart machine we call a computer a smart machine because it never ever makes any mistake because it never ever makes any mistake so i hope everybody understands that why we call computer a smart machine because it never ever makes any mistake that is why computer is called a smart machine like when we are completing our work on time and without any mistake sometime our parents also called us that wow he is a smart boy or she is a smart girl she completed her work on time that is like that we call that computer is a smart machine because it never makes mistake and completes work on time now the second question is why it is electronic why it is electronic it is called as electronic 
because it works on electricity it works on electricity i hope everybody understands computer is called electronic machine because it works on electricity like other electrical devices like what are electrical devices the devices which work on electricity like refrigerator washing machine that all are work on electricity like that our computer also works on electricity now the third question is what is why it is machine why it is machine so it is said to be a machine it is said to be a machine because it gives quick results because it gives quick results results means whatsoever we are giving question to the computer it gives results within a second it gives results within a second that is why it is known as machine we can understand with example also like if i give you to add two numbers to add any two numbers like 2 plus 3 like 2 plus 3 for that you will take at least 1 minute to give me the answer you will first count it on your fingers and then give me the result that is 2 plus 3 is equals to 5 but when we can do this work with computers it takes just a second to give us the result 5 like when we put 2 plus 3 it quickly replies that it is equals to 5 have you understood the difference between machine and us that is why we called computer a machine now i hope everybody understands that why computer is a smart electronic machine it is a smart electronic machine i again repeat listen it is a smart electronic machine because it never makes mistakes it works on electricity and it gives us quick results it gives us quick results i hope everybody understands now now the question arises how does a computer looks how does a computer looks now everybody please see on this figure now everybody please see on this figure here there are different parts of computers are shown in this figure different parts of computers are shown like these are the main parts of the computer number 1 is monitor number 1 is monitor number 2 is key board number 2 is key board number 3 is cpu number 3 is cpu number 4 is mouse number 4 is mouse now i hope everybody understands there are the four parts of the computer monitor keyboard cpu mouse when we combined all these four parts when we combined all these four parts with the wires with the wires then 
it becomes our computer system then it becomes our computer system we can't say monitor is a computer no monitor single is not a computer monitor single is not a computer single cpu is not a computer single cpu is not a computer when we combine all these four parts when we combine all these four parts then it becomes a computer system then it becomes a computer system i hope everybody understands what is a computer what are the different parts of the computer computer is an electronic smart electronic machine computer is smart electronic machine and it looks like in this different parts are attached with the help of wire to make a computer system i hope everybody understands this i hope everybody understands this after this we will meet in the next session with the new topic i hope you all enjoyed your today's class now stay tuned with us to watch our next youtube videos and after that in next video we will start our next topic i hope everybody stay home safe and maintain social distancing see you soon in the next video okay everyone bye bye